Hello, my name is Dr. Diwan S. Raja. Today I will discuss about autonomic nerve supply of the heart. We must know that the initiation of cardiac cycle is myogenic, originating in the sinusoidal node. It is harmonized in rate, force and output by the autonomic nervous system. Heart is an internal organ, so it should be supplied by the autonomic nervous system. The heart is provided by sympathetic and parasympathetic nerves through superficial and deep cardiac plexuses. Superficial cardiac plexus located inferior to the arch of the aorta and the pulmonary trunk. Deep cardiac plexus is located between the tracheal bifurcation an aortic arch. Autonomic innervation of the heart is responsible for regulating heart rate. Force of contraction means force of myocardial contraction, cardiac output. Okay. So, sympathetic innervation and parasympathetic innervation. Sympathetic innervation, preganglionic sympathetic fiber arise from the upper four or five segments of the lateral gray horn of the thoracic spinal cord. Lateral gray horn is also called intermedial lateral gray horn. The synapse in the upper thoracic and cervical sympathetic ganglion. Sympathetic ganglion are present in the sympathetic trunk these are two paravertebral trunk extending from the base of the skull to the coccyx and each trunk contain around 22 to 24 sympathetic ganglion postganglionic fiber proceed as bilateral branches from the sympathetic trunk to the cardiac plexuses sympathetic stimulation increases heart rate vasodilates coronary arteries and the force of contraction. Parasympathetic innervation, the vagus nerve provide parasympathetic innervation to the heart via the cardiac plexus. Parasympathetic stimulation decreases heart rate, causes bradycardia, reduces the force of contraction by the myocardium and constricts coronary blood vessels. So, autonomic nervous system is two part, sympathetic and parasympathetic and these are the functions of sympathetic, these are the functions of parasympathetic. So, if the person has problem in the heart, there may be ischemic condition, okay, or myocardial infarction, then there may be pain here in this area, the medial aspect of the arm, upper part, the medial aspect of the forearm, the chest area, even it may go to the other side of the chest, maybe in the back, that is possible. So these are the cardiac referred pain, like that we are seeing anything wrong in the diaphragm, we may have pain in the shoulder, anything wrong in the kidney, we have groin to we have the loin to groin pain, gallbladder pain, any pain in the appendix, appendix, pain may come from here. So this is the location of the location of the referred pain. We have also visceral efferent fiber. Visceral efferent fibers from the heart passes through the cardiac plexus return to the CNS in the cardiac nerves from sympathetic trunk and the vagal cardiac branches. The efferent associated with vagal nerve are associated with baroreceptor that maintains blood pressure, chemoreceptor that maintains the blood pH. The efferent associated with cardiac nerves from the sympathetic trunks Visceral efferent associated sympathetic system conduct pain sensation to the heart. 
So the afferent associated cardiac nerve, they come from the sympathetic tract. Okay, so this is the sympathetic chain of ganglion extending from the base of the skull to the coccyx. Cervical region has three cervical sympathetic ganglion, superior cervical sympathetic ganglion, middle cervical sympathetic ganglion, inferior cervical sympathetic ganglion. We are looking that this contribute in the formation of the cardiac plexus. Okay, this is the vagus nerve. This provides parasympathetic component of the of the cardiac plexus and also the nerve parasympathetic innervation of the heart. So from there we are getting the branching here, branching that contribute in the formation of the vagus nerve contribute in the formation of the superficial cardiac plexus and deep cardiac plexus. Deep cardiac plexus is located just at the bifurcation of the trachea. Superficial cardiac plexus between the arch of the aorta and the pulmonary tract. We may get some ganglion here, especially just to the to the right of the of the pulmonary of the bifurc of the ligamentum arteriosum. We get multiple ganglion. So these are the sympathetic ganglion. So these fiber are the postganglionic fiber. The vagus nerve here. We have the preganglionic here, postganglionic go from here. Even the preganglionic part may end up to the wall of the of the viscera in the heart. Then from there, very small postganglionic fiber in case of parasympathetic system. In sympathetic system, preganglionic fiber is short, postganglionic fiber is long. In case of parasympathetic, preganglionic is, is long. Postganglionic fiber is very short. So this is the heart. We may have pain here. This is the visceral afferent fiber passes along the sympathetic nerve, going there, going to the posterior nerve root, to the posterior gray horn. Here they mingle with the somatic nerve fiber. Then it will go to the anterolateral system, ascent. To the thalamus to the ventral posterolateral nucleus we have another relay here then we we'll get the the third order neuron here going to the going to the to the post central gyrus area okay that is the sympathetic okay. parasympathetic is carried by the vagus visceral afferent for along with the parasympathetic are associated with baroreceptor, chemoreceptor. Visceral afferent fiber along with sympathetic are associated with pain, especially cardiac referred pain. Mechanism of perceiving heart pain, pain in T1 to T4 dermatome, ischemia accumulate in the metabolic product of the metabolic products in the myocardial stimulates pain. Visceral afferent fiber can centrally run centrally through the sympathetic trunk to the dorsal gray horn of the spinal cord. Here, visceral afferent fiber nerve and somatic sensory nerve, like from here, they mingle here with interneurons. Then, most of the fiber go on the other side, some fiber may cross and come to the, this side again. Okay, visceral afferent nerve and somatic sensory neurons mingled in the dorsal gray horn by interneuron. Here we have interneurons. Efferent fiber ascend through the spinal reticular, particularly anterolateral system tract to the ventral posterolateral nucleus of the thalamus to the postcentral gyrus of the brain. So mostly it is ALS system, partly spinal reticular system. The brain misinterpret the location of the pain. Brain think pathology is here, not here. Maybe may interpret pathology is here and here. And that's over all about the autonomic innervation of the heart. If you have any question, please feel free to ask me. Please support my channel. Please subscribe me.
have a nice wonderful and blessed day bye now